this morning. There's a few announcements that we need to make. Um, we were planning on doing a park day next week, but I, I got to let you know that the city has been giving us the runaround. And I just want to be honest with you. Uh, we called the city, we went to the city, we asked them if we could do an outside service, and they weren't returning our phone calls, and they had a problem with doing a religious service outside in the public park. And uh, I was not very happy with them, and I didn't want to really call them and give them a piece of my mind because I need all the brains I got. But uh, <laughs> honestly, uh, just pray and don't make that call because we're still trying to build a school here, right? We, we don't want to tick off the city with us. Um, but I, I got to be honest with you, that's what happened. That's the reason why we're not having it. Next week, we're um, in two weeks, we're going to be having a, a pancake breakfast out here. So uh, instead of next week, on the last Sunday of this month, we're going to be having one service. It's going to be at 10 o'clock. At 9 o'clock, we're going to be having this pancake breakfast. And we want to encourage you to bring everybody that you know. We're going to be kicking off, preparing to kick off 40 Days of Purpose. In your uh, bulletin, you have this card, Got Purpose. It's an invitation to our church for the pancake breakfast and for our service that day. I want to encourage you guys to invite everybody that you know. Uh, we should fill up this place and have a great time out there. Uh, it's going to be a great opportunity to invite your friends and family. Uh, to do this, we're asking for your help in, in a certain area. We need people uh, to help cook a little bit. We need some people to cook bacon and sausage. We're going to be providing uh, the pancakes and all that stuff. But we need people who would be willing to cook that and then bring it to church that morning about 8.30. Beth, Beth has these... Uh, Magnets right here. Stand up, Beth. If you would be willing to cook a pound of bacon and bring it to church uh, on that Sunday morning, uh, would you just slip up your hand? Bacon or sausage, if you'd be willing to do that. And Beth is going to give this this card to you. May I say something about the sausage? Sure. If you're willing to uh, cook sausage for us, we have a lot here already. Uh, you can bring it to church. So if you'll just see me, I can get you some sausage to take home with you to cook and bring that morning. So. But I have uh, bacon and sausage, little <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay. If you can just keep up your hand if you're willing to, to cook a pound of bacon or a pound of sausage and bring it that Sunday morning. That's going to be good. 40 days of purpose. We're still continuing our missions offering for this month to go towards California missions. Lady, there's some information about a dinner that's coming up, a women's ministry dinner. Um, let's see. I know several of you signed up to uh, help our church grow during the fall, and I got your cards, and we're going to be contacting you this week, so I want you to know that I did get your cards, and we're going to be contacting you. Uh, are you guys glad you came to church today? Amen. Normally, people don't talk about money in church because they, they think it's kind of a turnoff. Um, some pastors have been known to say from the pulpit, I don't want to talk about money because uh, I don't want to turn anybody off. My stance on this area of money is this. It's in the Bible. God talks more about money than he does in a whole lot of other issues. And it's my responsibility to share with you what the scripture says. Okay, so that's where I'm coming from with this. I didn't try to turn you off on that. But I did want to share with you, as followers of Christ, what God says about our finances. Okay? All right. Let's stand up as we close our service out. Thank you. God bless you.